At the forefront of container cleaning and quarantine compliance, Agility's Container Washer provides unparalleled performance in achieving high volume throughput with far greater safety features than ever before. Designed and built by Lotus in New Zealand, this automated container washer utilises intelligent sensors that recognise the asset type, adjusts the wash program to suit and automatically starts and stops the wash program. Only one operator is required for the whole process of loading, cleaning and unloading assets, making this a world-class cost-saving and safe work environment. Consistent and quarantine-compliant wash results can now be achieved in a fraction of the time with this machine. Let us show you how. Agility's automated asset washer cleans and pesticides at a rate of up to 12 units per hour, 10 times faster than manual washing. It's designed to process two assets in rapid succession, utilising a unique feature of dual handling. Whilst an asset at one end of the machine is being washed, another asset at the other end is being reloaded and prepared, thus recreating a non-stop cleaning cycle. Agility has found that a reach stacker is the best asset handler to load the washer due to its excellent all-round visibility and versatility. With its ability to boom out, it minimises potential contact with the washer and allows the installation of fencing around the washer for security and bunding to maximise the recycling of water. Traffic light indicators signal to the operator the status of the wash cycle so that very little time is lost between asset changes. When an asset is loaded onto the washer, the appropriate wash program is automatically selected and washing commences. The sensors can identify whether the asset being loaded is a 20-foot or 40-foot container, a GP or a high cube, a half-height mineral container, a flat rack or an ISO tank. The washer is programmed to allow time for the operator to reverse the reach stacker out of the washing zone, thus increasing operator safety. The washer also contains proximity sensors to detect any obstruction once the boom spray commences movement. Initially, the full power of the machine blasts into the pinholes of the container. The locking pinholes are of the most concern, as any dirt and contamination frequently becomes compacted into these pockets as containers are transported. Blasting at this critical point lasts 30 seconds. The machine then switches over to operate on the bottom of the container, which is also typically challenging in conventional washing methods. This area of the asset usually has channeled sections and large areas where dirt and pests are often found. To eradicate any potential threats to quarantine, the machine engages multiple rotating high-pressure heads. The jets are aimed in all directions, so as it operates backwards and forwards, every area of concern is addressed. Once the underneath is done, the machine then switches to wash the two ends, the top and the sidewalls, using the overhead boom. This powerful and robust machine ensures every square inch of the container has been blasted with high-pressure jets. The container is then left to drip dry for four minutes. However, productivity is not lost, for while one asset is drying at one end of the machine, another is being cleaned at the other end. Once an asset has drip dried, the residual pesticide treatment can be applied using secondary low-pressure nozzles. As soon as the wash and treatment cycles are completed, the traffic lights indicate green and the operator moves in to remove the compliant container whilst the second container is still in cycle. Additional chemical applications can also be programmed into the cycle if required. The suite of safety features includes audio warnings, visual traffic light indicators, obstruction sensors and entry controls. The washer has been designed to reduce operator involvement and exposure to potential hazards. What might have taken a team of operators to wash manually, facing the unusual array of hazards such as wetness, fatigue, foreign objects in eyes and close proximity of moving plant, the washer requires only one operator who now has confidence and peace of mind knowing the work environment is a significantly safer one in which to work. The washer recycles 85% of water used in the wash cycle. Water filtration consists of an in-ground rock stopping filter with a submersible pump to capture large particles and debris from the bunded area. The water is then pumped to the secondary 24,000 litre holding tanks, seen here at the rear of the washer, for staging prior to being processed through the filtration and chlorination system. This potable water is then held for reuse by the washer. Should the washer run low on water, the sensors will automatically open the steam water valve to top up the system. In the right location, rainwater can be captured, stored and used within the system, creating a completely closed loop for water usage. 
The washer is an investment in innovation which has proven to significantly reduce resources and deliver great results. Manual container washing simply cannot compare to the volume of quarantined clean containers that the washer can achieve. Traditional manual container washing can take as long as two hours per unit. The washer has the ability to wash 12 units per hour with a single operator. Rated by clients like Gary Higgins, Logistics Supply Chain Coordinator, the washer has the flexibility to handle a range of assets, including complex ISO tanks. It introduces significant operating efficiencies and will deliver cost savings. This particular piece of equipment is situated right near or at our point of entry. Now, the types of containers that I was using or affiliated with is uh, 20 kilolitre ISO tanks, which are a little bit different to your normal GP as, as uh, this machine is normally uh, attributed for. Now, with a little bit of uh, um, technical rejigging of it, they were able to uh, um, have this machine wash these tanks in situ pretty well soon as they came off the boat. and. It, in compliant with our uh, project requirements. Now this um, action enabled us to um, reduce our, uh, our dwell time for refilling operations by nearly half and that actually enabled us to um, have significant cost savings uh, to our asset base. Um, basically we don't need as many containers because uh, there was so much less in the cycle uh, which was uh, a, a very good option for us to use and uh, we actually used it quite a lot. Uh, we were cycling through, from memory, somewhere around 70 containers a week. And they were actually refilled near there, so it made a, a, a very attractive option for us at the time when it was operational. Approved for non-monitored use by both Australian and New Zealand quarantine authorities, the washer delivers operational excellence within a framework far exceeding the Australian biodiversity regulations. After extensive testing and examination, the washer has been further approved by our client for non-monitored quarantine compliance washing of all assets. Put to the test by clients like Grant Weston, Quarantine Supply Chain Coordinator, this machine is compliant even in the toughest quarantine environment. So we needed to ensure that uh, the washing machine was, was going to remove uh, soil in particular from, from these niche areas of containers. So that was the first step. That was, that was uh, apply soil and uh, other debris to particular niche areas and watching uh, what the result of that was, which, which just turned out to be pretty good. Uh, the, the, the second aspect that we were interested in was the application of uh, the residual chemical, which is again a project requirement. Uh, now this machine also applies the chemical after wash. Uh, so we wanted to ensure two things were, were in place. One, the coverage of the chemical was again adhering to, to these niche areas, particularly the underside of containers. And also the dosage was, was uh, the correct dosage uh, as per the label rates of, of the particular chemicals we were using. So that process involved using um, a visual test just, just to make sure we could see that niche areas were, were wet. And then we got into um, some more complex tests where we used uh, uh, a residual paper that, uh, that identified the size of droplets and uh, the, the, um, the, the quantity of droplets that, that were being applied to particular niche areas. So we ended up uh, on, the, uh, on the tops of containers and the twist locks and in the underside of containers uh, applying this hydro, hydro sensitive paper uh, and, uh, and, and just, just verifying that, that we were getting the coverage of chemical um, that, that we required. The, uh, the second aspect of the, of the uh, process was uh, taking some, some samples of the, uh, of the chemical uh, at, uh, at the nozzles um, and sending that off to uh, scientific labs for, for testing to make sure that we had the uh, correct concentration at, at, at the nozzle. Um, and uh, as, as it turned out, we were, we were bang on. So uh, that's, that's essentially the, um, the test that we performed. Engineered using leading edge design methods specifically to handle high volume washing and quarantine requirements in the freight forwarding or logistics industry, 
Agility's automated washer can generate significant cost savings for its user. Benefit from Agility's innovation and optimise your operations now.